Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get 15 wins in the Championship Challenge, which is coming out this Saturday. So the map pool literally got released uh, a few hours ago, so I thought this was the best time to bring it to you guys as soon as pos possible so you can learn all the uh, best comps, best strategies. But before we go into it, into the first map, I just want to uh, say a big thank you to the five people that helped me. I'll put their uh, links to the socials in the description below. All really nice guys and always help me on a regular basis, so definitely check them out. But without further ado, let's just jump straight into the first map. Alright, so the first map in a championship challenge is Stone Fort. A really basic um, map and in gem grab. It's the easiest mode and you're going to be facing really bad people. So these comps, uh, you can just use any of them. It's really personal preference in the first round. As I say, every single time is uh, what you prefer. You're going to be facing really bad people. So uh, for the first comp, the Poco Double Tank, literally anyone can use that comp and it's really easy to use it. So uh, if you're struggling for comp ideas, that's always going to be a really good one to use. All right, guys. So the first map, Stone Fort. I love this map. It's one of my favorite gem grab maps. So definitely uh, a really easy map for a first one. Everyone should be able to get through this first round. And again, as I said, it's an easy one. So my recommendation would be the Poco Double Tank, but there's a lot of good brawlers that you want to be playing. Uh, in terms of competitive, we like to go Pam near enough every single game inside of this map. She's so good on the side of this map. Uh, but the, again, you've got the likes of Gale, who's so broken. If you've got Gale unlocked, that's the first brawler that you want to be picking in your comp straight away, uh, just because he's so broken. But I know you guys probably haven't unlocked him. Not everyone's unlocked him because he is a chromatic brawler. And he's a mythic brawler at a minute, so you can actually get him from boxes. But... Uh, he's definitely is a good brawler. You want to be putting him into every single comp if possible. And then you've got like some Mr. P who's recently got a buff. He's very, very good on this map. You can play him lane. You can play him mid. He's just super, super annoying inside. As you can see, uh, both his gameplay is just so annoying. It's just constantly spawning the portals over and over again. It's really hard to heal up. Gene, you can use as a mid. Uh, not really going to be the most effective just because of Mr. P. Uh, so definitely got to watch out for that. But then you can play a bunch of lane brawlers. Cole uh, is super, super good right now. Max is really, really good. Uh, the likes of M's just isn't and Jackie aren't as good as they used to be. I put Jackie in the first uh, best comp just because uh, it doesn't really take too much skill to use Jackie, especially if you all sit in mid with Poker Double Tank. Not a lot of people can really touch you, but there's not really too much to say more about Gem Grab, really. You guys should know how to play the lanes and uh, how to play the mid. As long as you're playing something comfortable and you're not playing something over the top, you're gonna to be able to pick up a win in this one. So I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna speak too much more about this one. Alright, so the second map is a snake prairie. So this is quite a weird one because in lower trophies and lower skill, a lot of tanks are being used, but these comps are the best ones that use in competitive. So every single combination you can see Bo and Tara. They're the two brawlers you need. And then third brawler, uh, normally I would definitely recommend a Brock or a Piper. Brock's more of a safer option, especially when there's loads of uh, tanks. But I definitely need a Bow and Tara for every single combination. So strategy and comps for Snake Prairie. So uh, Bow's Bo's job uh, is all dependent on kind of matchup and what uh, brawlers you're facing. But if you're facing a more generic comp, so the Bow and Tara, uh, it's all about fighting for that mid star. Uh, you probably won't actually get this too much because when it's the second set, you're not going to be facing the best opponents. So uh, my advice is try and fight for that mid star, and then whether you get it or not, probably fall back. Uh, place, place that uh, bow gadget behind a wall, and get your Tara to get super. That's the most influential thing. Uh, the thing that's going to win you the games is the Tara supers and the proper picking off at range. And then uh, Snake Prairie. Um, I'm sure you guys know how to play it, uh, but. Uh, kind of rollers if you're winning you want the enemy team to uh, be following you into spawn you want to be breaking the map up as soon as possible especially if you're winning uh, but if you're losing and you're chasing the stars you don't want to be breaking the map up and you want to be getting uh, playing really aggro trying to pick up pick off a kill and then retreating as soon as you get a kill you don't want to be overstaying uh, you're welcome unless the main one uh, you won't, I don't think you'll get this in a set but uh, in terms of competitive, when you're facing a nanny, uh, like we are in this gameplay, you want to be just be trying to get the bow gadgets down as soon as possible. But it's all about getting the Taurus super and building that up over and over again. You've got a uh, Taurus gadget that's able to scout the whole grass. So my advice for that, definitely use a Tara gadget at the beginning of the game to see where you are. And then it's down to bow and Piper to try and pick off some kills and fight for that mid star. And then as I said from there, all your job is is to build your supers up over and over again. And uh, as you can see, uh, Snake Prairie actually isn't symmetrical. So what you want to be doing, you want to be sh uh, throwing the bow mines on the open lane. As you can see, there's like a lane with uh, two sides of grasses. And then there's another one which only has like one block of grass. You want to be throwing your bow mines on the one with one block of grass because then it will destroy it. And then you want your Piper and Brock to break up the other side because you'll be destroying that the best. 
uh, but Snake Priory again it's just literally like a domino effect you want to be keeping the lead for as long as possible and letting the enemies come towards you and one of the key things to note about Snake Priory you always want to be playing as a team so you don't want to be going in on your own unless you're like a Tara with vision or something so you know where they are all the time you want to be sticking close to your bow as much as possible uh, it's definitely a key to success there you don't want to be just going in over and over again because you're just going to be feeding and the key one again i will say because it's very very important you want to get the lead as soon as possible and just break up the map you don't want to be going for kills you want to be playing for your life more than the kills so it's definitely important to play more conservative than aggressive inside of bounty nowadays okay so the third set this is where things get a bit more interesting siege is a harder game mode to play uh, but as you can see if you've got Gale not locked again you want to be using it inside of every single comp using that launch pad to get off the map as soon as possible Gale is completely broken right now so you definitely want to choose him but here's some other options to choose from okay so factory rush it's one of my favorite siege maps and if you've got Gale inside of a comp you want to be getting the launch pad and just jumping up as soon as possible getting that mid control uh Gale wants to be going mid you want pam on the lane and then whoever your uh, third brother is whether it's a brock a max or someone along those lines you're gonna be sending that down the lane but uh, it's really important to send Gale mid because you can use his super to push people against the walls and constantly gain control. He's such a broken brawler right now, you definitely need him if you've got him. Uh, but if not, if you've not got Gale unlocked, you want to be sending Pam mid instead. And you want to be having a lane brawlers like a Max, a Brock, a Penny, something along those lines. Again, it's uh, down to personal preference what you're comfortable with, even a BB or something along those lines you can be using. But... Uh, as I said, I'll always stress it, you want to be playing brawlers that you're comfortable with, but as long as they're kind of meta at least. So, for example, I'm always playing like the Brock or something. I won't go on a Pam, uh, that's normally semantics role. And if I go to Pam, it's probably going to end really well because I'm not used to playing it. Uh, but Siege, again, it's all about control. If you've not got a wall break, uh, the kind of objective is just to hold off control for as long as possible and get the last Siege bot. So if you haven't got wall break, it's all about getting the last Siege bot because you want to be going all in then. It's really easy to defend on this map and it's really hard to get damage unless you've got like a Brock or something or a Penny that can explode the wall up uh, to do something. Uh, I mean, at least a Gale, you can jump in at the end with a launch pad and get some damage off. Uh, but this Siege map... As I said, it's just all about control, all about uh, keeping, uh, well, just getting the first few bolts and uh, being conservative and getting them bolts uh, banked up. So even in this position, 3-3, free, free, you'd think it'd be good and you just keep the control. You've got the Pam turret that can uh, stay behind the wall. Uh, Pam uh, is such a good brawler on defense. You definitely, definitely need her. I would say she's the most influential again. These maps are really Pam heavy. She's really good in the meta right now as well. But Pam's does solid to, uh, well, the kind of, uh, the brawler that you want to be using all the time on offense and defense with the Pam turret as well You've got her gadgets that can keep you alive and the role of Pam uh, is just to be super aggressive Try and get in people's faces with uh, the healing of the turret and then when you're defending you're going to be the one that's going to be uh, Defending the boss as long as possible because she absolutely shreds it. She's got such a high DPS All right, so the fourth set is hot potato So this map is a bit chaotic especially with the environment change I don't really like it But as you can see about his comps these are the ones that I would recommend Gale, again, if you've got Gale unlocked, play him because he's so, so broken. It's like Sprout in the future, in the uh, old Championship Challenges. You need to play Gale if you've got him unlocked. He's super, super good. But one thing I would recommend, uh, if you've got a Gale, uh, put a tank in there like a uh, Daryl or a Spike or something along those lines that do a lot of damage, you'll be having a really high success rate. All right, so Hot Potato, the fourth set. Heist is arguably the hardest mode to play right now, especially with a Gale meta. So it's going to be hard for you to face a Gale if uh, you're uh, obviously facing it. He's so, so good. You can defend literally free v one all the time. You can keep cycling your supers over and over again. Uh, so I recommend with Gale, you want to be playing like a Daryl or something aggressive and just keep jumping in over and over again. And then probably like a uh, Max or something on defense along those lines or a Rico or something like that. But if you've not got Gale unlocked, the comp we're going inside of this game play the Rico, Max, Brock. That's probably the strongest one. Uh, obviously, if you're comfortable playing something like a Barley or even a Cole is really good on this map. Uh, a BB or something along those lines or a tank, you can play that. Uh, but this is the kind of comp we're playing competitive. It's really, really, really strong. So Hot Potato is a bit of a messy map, especially with uh, Gale involved. Uh, it's all about pinching your lanes together. You want to be sending, obviously, a brawler mid, left, and right. Uh, normally, we tend to send Brock uh, mid just because you can break up the walls and whatnot and recon the lane and max on the lane. Uh, recon and max are super, super good at defending. And this map, personally, it's all about... Uh, getting a good defense off and then turning that into uh, an offense. You don't want to let any brawlers go down your lanes uh, just because they will cause a lot of uh, pressure. And you have to deal with them in the heist. You can't really afford to leave a lot of brawlers, especially on this map. It's all about getting a control and pushing together as a team. Um, 
So with Gale in the map, you've got to be super, super conservative. If you're playing a Gale and they're just going to be launch padding over and over again, you definitely need uh, your Gale or like a Max or Rico or something that can defend and just sits by the launch pad and uh, just kills them. And the way you push forward uh, is that you've got to kill them a few times and then you've got to get a good respawn and keep them off that launch pad. So they're just going to keep cycling in over and over again. And it's the highest meta at the minute, unfortunately. It's kind of a uh, base race. Uh, kind of meta at the moment so inside a competitive you can actually ban gale so it's not like this but in terms of ladder and uh, compositions like this you're just going to have to use gale if you've got them unlocked and this is the kind of way you're going to have to play uh, just because you can't deal with a daryl that's constantly rolling in over and over again he's got like 6k hp and if you're using the rolling uh, not rolling rid of still hoop star power it's going to be so hard to take you down all right so the last set is brawl everyone's favorite mode in near enough it's a very very popular mode and everyone surely knows how to play brawl ball or at least uh, it's quite easy to understand and play but these are the comps to play uh, there's about five brawlers inside of this obviously you can play comfortable brawlers again if you're not comfortable playing with any of these you can play a lot of different brawlers but these are the five meta brawlers that i definitely recommend again gale is going to absolutely dominate okay guys so the fifth set this is going to be the most important one obviously but it's, and you're going to be facing the hardest opponents so again if you've got gale unlocked you want to be picking him straight away uh, another good uh, brawler for this map it's going to be max max is so dominant inside of Brubble right now. She's got insane speed, insane DPS, especially paired with a lot of different brawlers like Jean, like the likes of Sandy. If you've not got Gale unlocked, you can play that combo. That's very, very good. Uh, but this map, again, the mid brawler you want to be uh, using, you can use Gale mid, you can use Jean mid, you can use B mid. You can use a lot of different mids on this map. It's a very diverse map that you can use. But again, I'll definitely recommend a Gale if you've got the unlock. Sprout. Sprout used to be so dominant here, but I feel like with a Gale meta and Max, Gene, other brawlers like that, it's really hard to actually hit your shots with Sprout now, so I wouldn't recommend Sprout. Uh, it's actually had a big balance change, and you can see Thomas using utilizing Gale really, really good here. Gale's just so strong. So, Brubble again, this is where the money is at, and especially on this map, you play a lot of different brawlers. Uh, definitely use what you want uh, want to feel comfortable with. Uh, the thing I don't recommend, Poker Double Tank used to be pretty good on this map, but with a lot of uh, Gale in the mess, it's not really the best, so I definitely wouldn't recommend that, but you can definitely. Uh, use the five brawlers that I recommend. If they're the five that I would choose any day of the week if you've got them unlocked. Cole, he's going to win so many different interactions on his lane. He's received a big buff and definitely a brawler that a lot of people love to play. So I definitely recommend playing him. Gene, you could play mid with the likes of uh, Max, as I said. Really good combination brawlers. Uh, but I would say Gale, you definitely need to play Gale if you've got him unlocked. And the way you, the way you want to be playing at this map is always uh, waiting to uh, kill the enemies at the same time. So what I mean by this is uh, if you've killed a Shelly and you push up and go for the goal straight away, that's definitely not a strat. You want to be waiting to try and get like a team wipe or kill them at the same time. Uh, as I said, uh, you want to be build. You don't want to be rushing things inside a brawl. You want to be waiting for the perfect opportunity. And if you rough, if you rush chances and don't score in the end. Then they're going to come off with a counter attack and have all the position on you. So again, uh, play super conservative inside of Brawl Ball. It's definitely really important uh, to not always over extend out. So you're going to be losing that pressure. You're going to be losing control. And then they're, they're going to be able to put you on a uh, back foot. So uh, my advice in Brawl as I just said, is definitely that. That's the main one I would say. Because a lot of times uh, we find it competitive. And this is one thing I've definitely learned. Is where we've really thought we could score a goal. Wasn't really strong on it. But a bit risky. And we've like missed a goal. And then they go straight up the other end and uh, score. So then we're in a deficit. So uh, my recommendation again is to play super smart. Play super conservative. Uh, when you can make a play with the likes of Max. Who's a really game changer brawler with a gadget. If Surge is available. You can make a lot of game, cha game changing uh, plays with him. Uh, it's going to be the hardest uh, game mode again, so you definitely need a team. You definitely need to be at your A game if you want to be getting the win inside of this one. But Brubble, everyone knows how to play Brubble. There's not really too much more to say inside of this one. Just the comp choices are really, really important in this. Okay, guys, it's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you really enjoyed. Uh, definitely let me know in the comment section below how you get on this weekend. Some different maps, there's a lot of it. There's a big difference in the meta right now. Everything's kind of switched. A lot of the time you could just go Sprout, Jackie, M's. But a lot of, a lot of things have changed. Again, uh, definitely find a team if you can and just use Comfort Brawlers. But the uh, comps I recommended are definitely going to be picking up you uh, the wins. So if you've got friends uh, that want to play, definitely choose these ones. But uh, let me know. How, what you thought of the video let me know what uh, ideas you've got for me to improve on don't forget to like comment subscribe guys and i'll see you all next time